Watch this before starting your first data science project. Doing your first project might be the single most important milestone in your data science journey. Starting your first data science project is often difficult, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to know to get started on your first project. My goal is to clear up any misconceptions that you might have about the first project and give you the confidence to get started as early as today. These are five essential insights that will cut through your apprehension for projects and also a bonus six one that has the potential to transform the trajectory of your entire career. Let's get started. So why do a project in the first place? Is it for prospective employers to show your skills or is it to use as a conversation starter when reaching out to people on LinkedIn? For the first project, it actually isn't about either of these things. The single goal of your very first project is to learn. There is no pressure to get feedback or even share it publicly. So many people, they just get lost on the first project because they think it isn't good enough or that it just isn't very interesting. Guess what? It doesn't matter how impressive it is as long as it helped you to learn. It also doesn't have to be very impressive or complex to teach you something. So I've spread a lot of information online about projects. You've probably heard me say that a good project should be creative and interesting. While this is true for projects that you're showing to prospective employers, you don't have to be creative at all with your very first project. It may seem boring, but my very first project was the Titanic data set. And my goodness was my analysis, it was so bad. Still, I learned a heck of a lot about classification and feature engineering with that. I've personally done analysis on many of the most basic data sets, including the Penguins one, Mints, and the real estate data set on Kaggle. These are amazing for picking up new skills and they're great for projects early in your learning journey. On your first project, you should copy other people's work. You heard me right, it's okay to copy when you're learning. To be clear, you're copying for learning and you shouldn't be taking credit for the things that other people have done. You should explicitly not share the work that you've copied as well. One of the best ways to learn in the early stages of your journey is to type out other people's code and get it to run. After getting it to run, you should tinker with it to just see what happens. Early on, I particularly like to do this with graphs. So there's a clear visual change when you make tweaks to your code and you can see sort of progress or you can see what happens in these graphs. So remember that Titanic data set that I did my first project on. If you're looking for something to copy, I did a walkthrough of that same data set that you can work through, which I've linked above and in the description below. This shouldn't come as a surprise, but first projects are often challenging. You run into obstacles, you run into errors, and you get stuck. And unfortunately, many people quit after facing this type of adversity. I find that almost universally, we run into these challenges in data science. Getting stuck is just part of the regularly scheduled program. The sooner you get used to it and you learn how to step away and come back to your work, the sooner you start progressing in your learning journey. I find that when I go for a walk or when I take some time off from looking at my code, sometimes the solutions just pop into my head or I come in with a very different perspective. These are things that you can do and you should be doing when you get stuck and you feel like you can't make any progress at all. You'd be surprised what your own brain can defragment when you're just walking around when you're not even really thinking about your work. So one of the biggest barriers to getting started is getting all the data science tools working on your local computer. When I was getting started, it took me longer to get my local environment configured than it took me to do the entire project I was working on. Fortunately, there's tools like Anaconda that can get things working on your local environment, but you still run into some configuration issues, getting the right packages and all those things. Luckily, with the advancements in web-based IDEs, you can completely avoid this step when you start. You can use free platforms like Kaggle, Google Colab, and DeepNote on your first project without the technical overhead. Essentially, you just log into these websites, you spin up one of these instants, and you can use a Jupyter Notebook without having to install any packages or do anything like that. For me, this was a complete game changer for avoiding the friction of getting started with your first project. So maybe the most important thing for getting started with data science and projects is your mindset. Just because a project is difficult now, it doesn't mean that you're not good. It just means that you're not good at data science yet. When I went back to do the Titanic project again for that tutorial video I talked about, it was amazing to see how much I'd improved. I vividly remember how hard it was the first time, and now I'm even comfortable enough to walk others through this analysis. There's been an incredible change in my ability and my aptitude uh, and my comfort level with these projects. This concept of understanding that you're capable of improvement over time is known as a growth mindset. And I've talked about it a lot at length in some of my past videos. When almost everyone starts in a new domain, particularly data science, they aren't good at this stuff. They get better as they try and as they fail. Remember, if you struggle, that just means that you have a lot of room to grow. I hope this helps you with your first project. Good luck on your data science journey.